there. I'm just cleaning up my painting things. Yeah, you have to be careful when you use paint, not to make a mess. <laughs> oh, whoops! Oh, double whoops! Oh, oh triple whoops! Oh. <laughs> but if you do like getting your hands dirty, why not have a go at this idea? Forget about paint brushes. You can make great pictures like this peacock by printing with your hands. Let's make it. You need paint, paper, a pen and these. Now to make a hand print picture like this one here, why not start with your thumb? Let's try thumb printing. It's an egg! Now, I wonder what's inside the egg. Try using a fist print. And another thumb print. To make... Cheep cheep! It's a little chick! Hands are really handy. And if you like this idea, you could try something else. Try using your whole hand to make this fantastic peacock. Pour your paint onto an old plate. A bit like this one here, and then get printing. Ooh, this paint feels a little bit gooey, but you need to cover your whole hand in paint. Like that. And then make a fan shape. Now, to use a different colour, remember to clean your hands. There. Now this makes the body shape. And now, add finishing touches with your fingertips. <laughs> it's a peacock! <laughs> oh, I agree. Who needs paintbrushes when you can use your hands? Oh, you are brilliant. Try making a handsome handprint. But remember, leave your handprints only on the paper. What? Hmm. Who's that snoring? Hmm. These are the shapes. Ah, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up. <laughs> they're heavy sleepers. <laughs> hey, 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 take it away. Oh, hey! Ah, yeah! Yes!
circle. What are the circles going to make? Can you guess? It's a teddy bear! Well done, Circle! It's time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the shapes are asleep again, but they're still brilliant! Tucky here! <laughs> minute make time! Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. Set sail for the high seas in your very own cork boat! Look at it! It's fantastic! And it even floats! Now, to make your own cork boat, you will need some glue, a hole punch, some scissors, a straw, some sticky tape, of course, some corks, a plastic lid and a triangle of coloured paper. Now, do you think it's possible to make a cork boat? Just a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Stop the clock! Let's go! The first thing to do is to get our scissors and very carefully make one, two, three slits in the straw. Then get your lid and place the straw onto the lid using those slits that you made. There we go. A bit of tape there and a bit of tape on there. There we go. That's there. Right, now get our triangle and make a hole at the bottom like that and a hole at the top like that. Now carefully let's feed through the sail like that on one side and then feed it through on the top. Go on in you go. There we go. Nearly done. Now let's get our corks and line them up in a row. Get some glue. Put some glue on the bottom of the boat. There we go. And stick it ooh, onto the corks. There, it's a cork boat. We're ready to set sail. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Thank you. Whew, that was close. And if you've got more than a minute, you could try a different coloured boat. A lovely red one. And how about adding an extra sail? Great! A cork boat made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut three slits at the end of a straw. Stick the straw onto the top of the lid with sticky tape. Make two holes in the paper triangle and push the triangle onto the straw like this. Then hold the corks together and glue the lid onto them. Now your cork boat's ready to set sail. Try making it in a minute. Hello, Mr Baker. Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Hmm, tell us. <laughs> Done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. 
Frame it! Frame it! Now, have a look at this. Here's an idea that's out of this world. A fantastic space picture. It's easy to do, but looks so good, you'll be able to frame it. This is a great way of using chalks, some dark paper and different size rolls of sticky tape or anything with a hole in the middle like this biscuit cutter. Now it's time to make lots of dust with your coloured chalk. Get a scrap of paper and rub chalk all over the page. When you've got lots of dust in different colours, you're ready to start. Put one of the sticky tapes or biscuit cutters onto the paper. Then dip your finger in the coloured dust. Now gently dab your chalky finger inside your sticky tape, like this. Try and make one side darker than the other, just like a real planet. That's great! And why not make a bigger planet with a bigger shape cutter and another colour? You can do as many planets as you like. Now let's add some stars with some white chalk. Look, an amazing space picture. Why don't you have a go? What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! Brilliant! Now look at this. Now this is magic. Watch carefully. Can you guess what this is going to be? It's a swan and it's baby. Oh, it's got a bit cold in here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go on holiday again. Somewhere nice and hot. Oh, I can see it now. The splashing of the waves, the sand beneath my toes and all the sand castles I'd make. <sighs> oh. Hmm, just a minute. Why wait until holiday time? We can bring the beach to us. This gives me an idea. A sensational sandcastle you can build in your home that will last forever. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> Two cardboard tubes from a kitchen roll. <laughs> An empty washing up liquid bottle. <laughs> some sticky white PVA glue. A clean, empty pie tray. And a kitchen tray. Whoa! We'll also need lots of play sand, which you can get from a toy shop or a DIY store. I'll be back in a tick. I've got it. Now, to make your everlasting sand castle like this one here, Get one of your kitchen roll tubes and very carefully cut it in half. But be careful because scissors are sharp. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there. Now, to make the top of the turrets, that's these bits here, we need to make snips all the way around. Now, this is a bit difficult, so it might be best to ask an adult to help you. There. Now, fold every other flap forward, like this. And then cut these off very carefully with your scissors. You can do this round the top of your taller tube as well. There, two turrets. Now we need to cut a door shape, 
like this into our larger tube. Now, this is a bit difficult again, so it's probably best to ask an adult to help you. There! A door shape! Now, let's leave our turrets to the side and get our tray, because we've got to fill it with sand. Here we go. There. Now, when your tray is full of sand, bring back in one of your turrets, here's the small one, and cover it completely in glue. Now, I'm going to cover it on the outside, all the way round, and even inside it too. Cover the whole thing in sand by rolling it into the sand. There it goes, making sure some gets inside. Roll it over and over. There. That's looking quite good. And when you're happy, put it to the side and leave it to dry. Now do the same to your other tube, the pie case and the washing up bottle. When all your pieces have been covered in sand and the glue has dried, you can start building a sand castle. There! Very nice, but it needs a finishing touch. How about a flag made out of some paper and a straw? Let's stick it in. There! Brilliant! And you can make your sandcastle as big as you like by adding lots and lots of different things. Like this one! Wow! It's great! And this sandcastle is even better than the real thing because it lasts forever! Ah! Why don't you try and make it? Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put my making stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Make it.